we are in Acapulco. We're going to see the Acapulco Cliff Divers pretty soon. All right, we're here about uh, really happy. 10 minutes early, and, and Lisa is super happy, so am I. It's not a big day here for the cliff diving, not too many people here. It's, uh, it's one other table here at the uh, Hotel Mirador. But, uh, here is, there's Lisa, there's the other couple here. No one, no one down below. And our uh, price of admission included an alcoholic beverage, which yeah. I was not expecting. Signatures of famous and only half famous people here on the wall. Here we got Bob Hope. We got Bob Hope. We got Roy Rogers. We got Trigger here. Who else do we have that I recognize? I saw Quincy Jones here somewhere. There it is down here. And, uh, yeah. and some more. Again, not that I see anyone that I recognize. But that doesn't mean you won't see someone you recognize. Because my knowledge of stars. B-rated stars and C-rated stars is somewhat limited. Uh, the cliff batteries are making their way down the cliff. I don't know if they work their way down and swim across and climb up. I'm not exactly sure how this works. But, uh, those guys are just certainly working their way down towards the ocean. Guys are climbing up. Barefooted. I guess that's the part of the ship.
So Lisa, what did we do today? Well, we're here in Acapulco for our last day of globe trotting for a very long time. We decided to make the most of it in as social isolating way as we can. Yep. Yeah. So uh, I guess the first thing we did was we went and see the uh, see the cliff divers. We saw five of those guys, and uh, it was a little interesting. You know, I guess I remember it from my, my days as a kid with the uh, ABC's Wide World of Sports, exactly. and it was always uh, you know fabulous uh, for the cliff divers. And then what did we do? Well, for the cliff divers, the place where they are is called La Quebrada. And we sat in a restaurant and had a lovely view and sipped alcoholic beverages, which was nice. And then we went to lunch. And we had lunch on a playa called uh, La Caseta. I think it's La Caleta. La Caleta. La Caleta. La Caleta. Playa La Caleta. Yeah, so it was a seafood restaurant right on the playa. And it was a very Mexican, authentico, authentic beach. So that was yeah. really kind of fun to just was, was it, it wasn't as socially isolated as uh, I would have preferred, but... Uh, or as um, you would expect. Backed. Yeah, but uh, nonetheless, you know, you know, it, was, it was nice. And then, uh, what, what are we doing? So right now we're at the uh, Fuerte San... The, the uh, San Diego. San Diego. Yeah. The San Diego Fort. Yeah. And this is a fort that uh, guarded the port of Acapulco. And Acapulco was the, uh, the, the key port in the, uh, you know, the far east trade of Spain. And uh, you know, so this is the port of entry for everything from you know, China and the Philippines, and then it was uh, hauled across the country on mules, you know, to Veracruz, where it was uh, shipped to Spain. So. And this is actually like the southernmost, one of the southernmost points of Mexico. Yeah. It which, is. and we've never been in this part of the country before, Guerrero State, and it was just very interesting to learn about the Asian trade, because, and not just trade, but the influx of Asians into society here, it has a totally different flavor than any of the other areas we've been and a different history. And in, in, in the reverse um, sort of uh, outflux of, uh, of Mexican culture and uh, Spanish culture into uh, into the Philippines. Yep. You know, so that was, uh, that was quite interesting. It's been, it's been a nice day, but uh, yes. coming to an end. Yep. Uh, this is uh, Caleta Beach. At the playa, is that the name of it there, Lisa? Caleta? I don't, I don't know what the name of this place is. Ah, okay. We read it on the menu, but I said Caleta. But uh, I pronounce those things wrong all the time, so. Yeah, it might be Caleta. Oh yeah, Playa Caleta. Playa, Playa Caleta. So I was right. It's kind of interesting, it looks like almost a, a working, a working marina here. We'll go out on a little boat, it's probably bring in some fish. We probably had some of that fish for lunch, except we didn't have fish, we had chicken. So forget that. We had fish. We had something probably fresh caught this morning. All right. So we're at the fort that uh, protects the Acapulco Harbor from pirates, or used to protect them from pirates. Let's uh, see, uh, Fuerte de uh, San Diego, actually. And uh, just, look, just looking out over. Yeah, and here's the moat. Reminds me of uh, being in England. Don't you think? Yeah. Who do you think built it? Ah, got a spare cannon. Uh, we're just going to do a broken cannon. We're just going to let it sit here in the uh, the moat. <laughs> this is the royal carriage. King of Netherlands from 1840 to 1849. Not exactly sure why it's here. It doesn't really say that. It is and well preserved. You can see some cannonballs. Lower level here. It was modeled in the fort. It was, uh, it was rebuilt in the uh, late 1700s, 1778 or so. After an earthquake destroyed the original one, but uh, in some form, incarnation had been around since uh, the, the 1600s. This is a model of one of the Spanish uh, galleons that uh, roamed the route from Acapulco to Manila, back to Acapulco, and uh, opened up the uh, 
Far East uh, trade for Spain. Lots of uh, oriental trade with the Philippines and China. And there's a lot of influence on that here in Mexico. This is the uh, Ford's kitchen here. Here, there must be some festival. I like some of these masks. If we actually had a home, we'd probably buy one. Of course, they're not for sale here, but we find one to buy and put in our collection. Look at all these masks down here. We would definitely get a Jaguar mask. We would definitely get one. This is pretty interesting. Look at them all. Wow, we need one of these. There. It's too big for a wall. Maybe one of the small ones. Maybe like one of these. Oh, well, here we are on top of the fort with the cannons. The five sides protecting the port. And with the darn good view. So let's go uh, to the edge and Look out over the port. Oh, down here is the, uh, the cruise ship terminal. No cruise ships here today. Don't expect any for a long time, I guess. And we're looking out over the port. Better perspective of the port here and the hotel zone of Acapulco and out over the port here. better view of the, the port. So here we are on our way back to uh, Vidanta and over in the distance is our beach and our hotel way Smack that middle there is where we're staying. And there's the waves and the beach, are pretty nice. And there's another bay here. Pretty nice, tranquil little bay. And uh, with the marina and as many hotels. But uh, you know, it looks like uh, you know, some nice, uh, some nice beach area here. picture of this bay. And here we go. Some more of this little bay here. I don't know what it's called, but again, over here in the distance is, uh, is where we're staying. This is uh, Monte Playa. This is, this is the uh, formal name of where we're staying. Never it's us getting ready to be have sunset here over Acapulco. Thank you. 
Hasta luego. Thanks for watching and uh, don't forget to uh, ring that bell so you'll be notified when we put out new videos because we have a lot of lot of raw footage that we're going to be uh, working on as we go into quarantine. That's right. And so we'll try to keep you um, entertained and just for a few minutes here and there on this channel, take you out of your home and uh, visit somewhere else. And until then, may your suitcase always be messy. Adios. <laughs>